Martin here coming to you from Beach Mia and there is an amazing fundraiser flood relief happening today. I'm actually here for a three day women's retreat next door. However, there was music in the background as we were meditating and doing yoga this morning and I thought I just got to come and check this out and these people are amazing. I love Beach Mia. I must say this is such a cool place. A lot of beautiful, heart-centered, warm, earthy, you know, salt of the earth type people here. I've just uh, supported them by buying a whole lot of stuff from these stores. Not that I needed anything. However, it's good to support the arts and uh, I've got a few gifts for people as well. So um, there's a band playing and I'll show you what's going on. So they're doing a a fundraiser to help help all the locals here who've had a bit of hardship. And uh, yeah, wow, there's a caravan park right here. I really like this place. It's got a got a really cool feel about it. It's about 20 minutes out of Bribie Island. My parents live at Bribie Island. They've lived there for 35 years or something now. And I live on the Gold Coast, which is about a two-hour drive south of here. Uh, such a quaint little quaint little town, I would say here in Beachmere. <laughs> Such a cool place, I absolutely love it. And we're near the water, I can feel the, the breeze of the ocean right now. I'm just gonna sit here for a moment and finish this live. So we're due to go back into the, the event in just a moment. So this is my day five of the Global Good News Challenge for, for May 2022. And oh my goodness, I don't know about you, but it's been intense energy lately, really intense energy. And I, uh, I've been, uh, been really self-reflecting, self-reflecting the last few days, especially this women's retreat, which is always wonderful to have circles of women that come together and support each other uh, with, with the stuff we go through as women. And of course we love men as well, but I think men do need their men time and I think women need their women time. And what I've realized recently is that I have been in this rut of busyness, this rut of, you know, need to keep busy all the time. Uh, to and, and really, it's avoiding intimacy. It's avoiding being alone with myself. And it comes from fear. It comes from fear. I had an ex-boyfriend that strangled me when I was 22. And I thought I'd let go of that. I thought I'd done the work around that. However, the fear was still there. I did some inner work here the last few days and the fear was still there. I felt like I was being strangled. And to avoid that feeling of intimacy and, and connectedness and, and time with myself, which has led to depression and suicide in the past, to avoid that, I've kept busy. I've kept really busy. And part of that has been wanting to prove worthiness, prove, prove I belong. Uh, prove I'm good enough, you know, these fears that most people have and shows up in different ways for different people. Uh, for me, it was showing up like that. It was showing up with busyness. And, you know, I think of people like Richard Branson. You know, Richard Branson has a, has a team of people, the founder of Virgin. You know, he doesn't check people in at the airport. He doesn't walk people to the plane. You know, he has a whole team that do that. Now, I've had a full-time and part-time VA for the last four years. And I have been resisting letting go. I have had such a tight hold on my business and had this lone wolf thing that, that you know, by the time I give a job to someone else, I could have done it already, right? That whole lone wolf syndrome that can happen with, so, with solopreneurs, with people who, who are running businesses. Yet I know if I want to impact more people as I do, then it's time to step up. It's time to let go let go of that control because actually what was happening is I was strangling myself. I took on too many tasks, I got into overwhelm and then I wasn't able to meet all those 
you know, deadlines or time frames. Deadline's a pretty negative word, as um, thanks to Colette Whelan for picking that one up, one of my Mass Media Mastery clients. She said, uh, instead of deadline, use the word time frame. It's a much more positive word, so I like that. I'm taking that on board. Time frame. All these time frames and, you know, it feels like always a million things to do all the time, right? That's, that's how I've been operating. I've been like the mouse on the wheel. And lately I've been taking time to slow down, taking time to meditate, to do yoga, to do breath work, to do the inner work, to just be silent with myself. Just be alone with myself, with my higher self, with the soul self, and really tune into that. And the more I tune into that, the more inner guidance, intuition and wisdom that I get. It's a good news challenge. Now I started this in June 2020 in the midst of COVID. I was sick of seeing all the negative news out there. I thought we need more positivity. We need more people appreciating their lives, valuing their lives, and hence why I created the Global Good News Challenge. It happens every single month, it goes for as many days as whatever number month it is. And for May, we've had a five day challenge, which is just finished now. This is my fifth day, and the June one will be six days, starts on the first Monday of every month. July will be seven days, etc. And all the details are pinned to the top of the Global Good News Challenge Facebook page. So if you go there, just check that post out, then you will see that you will get free promo as well with this challenge. We promote it and share it onto our Loving Life group, which has got about 2,000 members, and also onto our Global Good News Challenge Facebook page, which has got about 1,000 people on there as well. So this is how it goes. Basically, you just share your name, what you do, three things you're grateful for, and a piece of good news. So for me, here it is. I am Alden Altene, for those who don't know me. I am known as the media queen. I help people gain free positive publicity in mainstream media, such as TV, radio, print, and also online media, podcasts, online TV shows, etc. Three things I am grateful for today is I'm grateful for you watching this. I'm grateful for this amazing community in Beachmere here behind me and for all the people rallying actually everywhere for flood victims and the people who are doing it harder than we are. I'm grateful for everyone who has opened their heart and opened their wallets and opened their time and opened however they, they've been able to contribute to for all those people who've contributed. Third thing I'm grateful for is for this very cool shawl I'm wearing right now. It's such a, a colourful uh, colourful shawl. I absolutely love it. It reminds me of all our chakra colours and and I, I just love colour and vibrancy. Whereas growing up as a depressed teenager in Sydney, I would wear black a lot, right? So it's really nice. I've come I've come out of that black dark cycle. I still wear a bit of black occasionally, but you know, colours colours lighten the mood. And so does smiling, right? No matter how miserable things can seem sometimes or hard things can seem, there's always lessons in everything. How is this happening for us, not to us, right? That's the question to ask. How can I embrace more kindness and love for myself and others today? So no matter what is happening in the world, there's always things we can be grateful for. And my good news today is that we have a social media masterclass. I am doing a physical in-person event on the Gold Coast on May 15 in Southport. It is from 10 till 1. It's going to be in Price Street in Southport. Just check out social media masterclass or follow me in Eventbrite and you'll see the details there. And also if you want to reach out and have a chat at any point, uh, there's a link to connect with me on my link tree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E forward slash Alden. You'll see there are a whole lot of my social media links. I suggest follow me in Eventbrite to see all our upcoming events and get involved in the Global Good News Challenge. You will feel amazing when you share gratitude. And as long as you hashtag Global Good News Challenge, we'll be able to find you and share the love as well. And that's it for today. My Global Good News Challenge, fifth one for today. Some other exciting things on the horizon. We have Shah Moore I'm working with, with the Girlfriend Hour TV. The Girlfriend Our TV, wow this music sounds amazing behind me, um, Girlfriend Our TV is going to be launching in June and uh, you can check out shamore.com.au for more details on that. So we're doing some promo and that's going to be conversations with everyday women to help help people get through the hardships of day-to-day -day living and you know how we we tend to do life, you know, supporting other women, the Girlfriend Our TV. And guys, I believe a welcome in the audience as well. So check that out, shamore.com.au, the Girlfriend Hour TV. You can be part of the live audience in Helensvale coming up in June. We'll be going out with PR. You'll be hearing a lot more about that in the next month. Lots of love to you. I'm going to share some of this amazing music. I'm being drawn to this 
phenomenal, phenomenal live music here. I'm going to turn it around and share some beauty with you. Thank you so much for joining me today. What are you grateful for today? Let me know in the comments. What are you grateful for? Lots of love to you. And here we go, turn this around. certain parts of the world.
this lady is. You don't, she's amazing. She's amazing. Okay, does that say who? Oh, here you go. Here's all the bands here. Honky Tonk Queen. Maybe that's her. Honky Tonk Queen. That sounds like Juanita. Honky Tonk Queen. Juanita. And Fat Pigs. Oh, Fat Pigs are playing. I love no, Fat Pigs. Not, oh, they're not now. Oh. Someone just told me they weren't. Oh, wow. They got in the mud. That's fantastic. <laughs> so, so it's on till dusk today. Yeah, we're going to sort of close up. Dark. Mother Nature. Yeah, amazing, like amazing. Everywhere else but here. And you're helping the flood victims. Well, that's what it's for. Yeah. yeah. Are you happy to share on Facebook just a little bit about um, what well, this that's is about? Been on Facebook for like a month okay. Ago. So you're happy to just have a little chat to Facebook to our Facebook um, people? Yeah, off to oh, okay. No. Well, just a quick one because it's just a, it's, it's a little live video. Um, just a little bit about what today's about. I don't want a whole lot. Just a really quick. Do you want to share? Just no, no, I'm, no, we'll see Karen I'm a traffic warden. You're are. the traffic warden? Okay. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this lady is amazing. Honky Tonk Queen Juanita is like, she's like Janice Joplin. She's so powerful. She's amazing. Does this happen uh, often, something like this, these little get togethers? Or? Um, the last one was at Christmas in the park here. Right. But we're starting up in the hub. Right. Which is. Um, Beach Area Network Group. Okay. And we've already done one. Okay. With the Zephyr, which was here today. Yes. We did a nighttime thing. Yes. Uh, this is another one that's on in September. Oh, and there'll okay. be a Fantastic. Jazz in July. On the 30th of July, I think that one is. Excellent, excellent. How can people find out more about it? With all COVID. Yes, think, yes. We haven't been able to do anything. Ah. Oh. So what is going to be like. Oh, wonderful, life. wonderful. And when was the last time you did any, anything was, like this? Hello. I'm doing a little Facebook Live video just promoting today. Yeah, yeah, happy to, you happy to, oh, I've got a media business. Uh, all, <laughs> all, are you happy to say something to camera? No. Oh, you're not? Okay. All right. Well, I'll just uh, wrap it up then. I'll wrap it up. Um, I just wanted to help promote. Help. <laughs> Everyone's a bit camera shy here. <laughs> are you happy to say what this is about today? Have to say a little chat. I'm just doing a Facebook Live. Oh, just, just, yeah, yeah. On now, it? yeah, yeah, it's on now. Yeah, it's on live. <laughs> Are you happy to just speak a bit about what today's about? Do you know much about it? Or? You are? Yeah? We'll do it together. Look, we'll do it together. Here we go. So, what's your name? Uh, Councillor Mark Booth, Morton Bay Council. Oh, good on you. Councillor, I've seen a local councillor. How cool is that? Awesome. Okay, so how, how do you feel about what's going on here today? Yeah, no, it's a great afternoon here. We um, are yeah. a bit worried about the weather, but it looks like it's held off. Uh, yes. We've got a good crowd building down here. We've got um, a few classic cars you can see there behind us, and you can probably hear the music oh, in the background. So awesome. The band's going fantastic. Oh, it's so good today. This is so good. So, when was the last time anything like this happened in Beachmere? Uh, it's probably last year. I think there's a, every year there's a couple of different festivals they have throughout the year. Um, so, this one obviously is, is the sort of the recovery. Um, just to thank the uh, the volunteers, the SES and uh, first responders and, and thank the community, I guess, for, for coming out and, and banding together um, during the, the floods in, uh, in February. And, and, and so the floods in February in Beachmere, how badly was Beachmere affected? Uh, yeah, I mean, the whole of Morton Bay were affected, but Beachmere especially, um, there is a fair bit of good by lowing areas around. Um, historically, they have flooded, but that rain event in February was um, the largest rain event in Morton Bay uh, since 1890. So, you know, I've had a lot of people saying, oh, I've been here for 40, 50 years and I've never seen a uh, flood like this. And, and that's right, they never would have seen a flood like this because it's sort of that sort of an event. Uh, hopefully, we're not going to see it like that um, too soon, but uh, you never know. The, the way that we've had the rain the last, the last year, uh, it's just the ground's been saturated. So. Yeah, yeah. And so today it's really back, is about giving people hope and for the future? What yeah, I think it's just that, that really, that... that Bonding, that, that bringing the community back together. Um, it's good to, to do that every now and again. 
um, Bain, the, the group that organises, is very, very good at doing that. So help it on these festivals where the whole community can come down, they can enjoy each other's company. The good thing about today as well is, and you probably would have noticed as you walk around, is there's a heap of community groups in, in, uh, in Beachman. You've got things like your men's shed, your lions, your uh, community garden, uh, uh, you know, some car clubs, some whole range of community groups. This sort of event is one that actually brings it all together, all for the same cause. Um, and it really showcases the community of Beachman. So great because you know we've been so disconnected through COVID. It is so great to come somewhere where the community is so beautifully connected and supporting each other, and some amazing artists I must say in the area as well. Yeah, it is. So um, if we you know, walk through, we've got obviously the arts and crafts that we've been selling in the market stores. Um, a lot of the, you know, I mean, all of them are locals. Uh, I've got a couple in my house uh, actually from the last event that we had here. Um, so if you've got some time, check out the uh, the fish sculptures up there. Uh, I've got two hanging in my house at home. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, I just bought a little love heart sculpture from from one of the guys down there with the sand, sandstone oh, yeah. uh, sculpture, which is awesome, and a few other things. Not that I needed anything, of course, but supporting the locals and uh, beautiful artwork. I mean, you just you know, it's, it's precious. It's precious when you support creativity and arts. Yeah. And how long have you been a councillor here? Uh, I've been a councillor for two years. Just gone on two years now. Two years, yeah, yeah. fantastic. So really enjoying it. Beachmere is a great community. We're doing yes. a lot, a lot for Beachmere actually at the moment. We've got a few million dollars that we've invested the last couple of years. Wow. Um, street streets project that's happening right now down on Biggs Avenue so in the next month or two the whole of Biggs Avenue will look totally totally different, transformed, vibrant, making it a, a good shared space for pedestrians um, and hopefully bringing um, a, a little bit of that sort of tourist money in on the day trips to spend around the cafes and the local businesses around so that's exciting, I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah. And Bang, for those who don't know, what does Bang stand for? Uh, it's Beachmere Area Network Group. Beachmere Area Network Group, I love it, I love the colour. We need more colour in our life. I've got the rainbow shawl out today. <laughs> and are you from this area originally? No, I'm actually from uh, Birkengarry, oh, East is where I live. Ah, but, okay. Uh, Fairly local. If you go back, if you go back a long uh, time, my grandparents, they came from England. So when they came from England in the 60s, uh, my grandfather was given a job at the Wiltshire High School. And so they, they come over on the boat and they landed and they said, well, you have to find somewhere that live around the Wiltshire. And my grandparents somehow went made their way down to Beachview, down to Coronation Avenue and they uh, bought a house on the foreshore uh, back in the 60s so they were, they were here and, and they sort of lived here for a number of years and then they sort of moved, moved on but I, I sort of, I've stayed around the area and at Birkenau and Narangba uh, area my whole life and you know, I come to Beachview at least once a week. Um, I'm actually here on Tuesday for a mobile office where the community can come down and ask me any questions or have a chat and things. so I try and, try and get down here as much as I can. That's great. So you're based, so just getting back there again, you're based where? Uh, I'm, I'm based around Burpen Gary. Oh, my, my office is at Caboolture. Yeah. Oh, Caboolture. Okay, great, great. And I must say, this is a very special vibe here in Beachmere. What do you think makes Beachmere so special? I think it's just the, that tight knit uh, village community. Um, everyone knows each other, They're all, everyone's friendly, um, and everyone looks out for each other. It's that, that real community spirit. You, you'll see it, especially if you come down here on things like Anzac Day um, and the Christmas, uh, the, the Christmas festival that they hold here. So, they do a Christmas um, in the park. Um, those sort of events you really see all, all the community coming out. Um, everyone pitches in when you need a hand, we saw that during the floods. Um, and then when you see days like this, is, is everyone comes to enjoy each other's company. Yeah, I love it, I love it. So special. And for people who aren't here today, how can they support the flood victims? How can they support the Beachmere community? Uh, look, I think there's, there's a number of different charities and, uh, and, and, and things they can do. I'm, off the top of my head, I'm not, I'm not sure on so specifics. Bank, but, probably, can they donate um, to Bank? I'm not, not, not sure uh, how, how they do it, the donations. On, on that, but okay. um, yeah, yeah. Right. But I think even yeah, if they can't make it down today, even supporting any of the vendors that they um, that they might see um, if you if you're doing your videos around. Um, yeah, wonderful, and, wonderful. And uh, anything else you'd like to say? No, I think that's all. No, that's okay. Nice okay. Thank you so much. Nice to meet Thank you too. Thank you. See you, Thank later. you. And for those who missed your name, just repeat uh, again. Councillor Mark Booth. Councillor Mark Booth. Check him out, Mark Booth from Burpengary. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you. Thank you for your time. See ya. Mark Booth. We just happened to run into the councillor. He's in your believe it. And I'm suggest if you want to support today's event it has been organized by bang the beachmere area network group right here these amazing people here here it is bang yes so great 
What a beautiful community. Gives you faith in the future. Thank you so much for joining me here at my day five of five of the Global Good News Challenge for May 2022. Now it's time to get back to my uh, women's event just next door. I just love to spend all day here, however. Um, there's only so much we can do, is it there in a day? So, uh, so I've really enjoyed hopping over here and seeing this beautiful community and these performers. Wow, phenomenal performers. So thank you so much. If you've enjoyed today, share the love, connect on Linktree, check out my L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E forward slash Aldwin Linktree for all my links. And take good care of yourself, sending you lots of love wherever you are in the world. As Gandhi says, be the change you wish to see in the world. And as I say, Shine bright and light up all those around you. Lots of love to you. See you. Love Beach Me. It's so cool.